Hi guys, Leo is here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you the Ukrainian alphabet. And today I'm going to give you examples for every single letter, examples for the sound in English language, for the similar sound in English language, for the similar letter if possible in English language, or several letters which represent one letter in Ukrainian language. I will specify which letters are just the same and which sounds are just the same, which sounds are totally different, which sounds look the same but not but are not really the same and I'm going to explain all this with examples also in Ukrainian language so it should be very very easy for you to get it all don't be afraid when you're looking on these letters in the past they were even more difficult than they were simplified and now what we now now what we have what we have and we are going to go letter by letter what I suggest for you is pick a pen and a paper and make some notes on difficult letters for you or maybe make some notes on explanation every time you hear I pronounce the letter of the word do repeat with me and after me and repeat as many times as you feel you should repeat till you get it and it is super easy for you okay now we are going to start with the first letter which is A and it's we write this letter as English A but we always pronounce this letter as A as in father but and an example for you is mate or mama these two words mean the same just mate it's a bit more respectful than mama but really these days everybody is using these two words without any difference so it was mate it's more like a word from the past uh, but still some people uh, do use it today next we have the next letter which is b and this letter is the same as English B, B, and we do pronounce it as in bank, bat. An example for you, banan, banan. Uh, a tricky point for you is here to remember how we write this letter. So, what in English is B, in Ukrainian looks like this, B. Here is one more example for you, so you remember how to write this letter for sure. And I will explain why in a moment you have to remember. And this animal is called Baran. Baran. And also you can call Baran somebody who is not smart or who is stupid. But you have to know that it is offensive. And that's why you had to remember very clearly the previous letter. You see, it is written as English B, but we, pron we do pronounce this letter different. We pronounce this letter as we, we in English. So as in ways, visit, and an example for you, vokzal, vokzal. And vokzal is a place where you can go somewhere by a bus or by a train and in Ukrainian we call it vokzal. Next. Well, this letter is a bit tricky. Some people do believe that this letter is just English H. But it is not so, because in English H, like in hack, in Ukrainian this letter we do pronounce this letter as H. 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 And uh, I should tell you that it is something in between English G and English H. So between them. For example, Hora. Hora. Hora, singular. One mountain. Hora. H. 
H. Hora. Hora. Here is a very, very similar letter. Hopefully, we don't use this letter a lot these days. It was more popular in the past. And this letter sounds just as English G. Like in get, give, get. Hopefully, you won't find this letter at all anywhere practically, but there is one word which you have to know, because you can find it. So there is a bird called Gava. Gava. I'm not sure if it is really a bird, because I never seen this bird in my life. But there is a saying in a phrase in Ukrainian language which is Zloviti Gavu. Zloviti Gavu. And what does it mean? Is that when somebody is not attentive and he made a mistake or he crashed something or he cut something or he felt and crashed something, whatever misfortune appeared happened because somebody was not attentive, uh, people says Zlovete Gavu. Zlovete Gavu. Gavu. Okay, the letter G. And the previous one was just G. G. This one is G. G. So it's stronger. And it is completely as in English G. Let's move to the next letter, which is D. And it's just the same as in daughter, dinner. What you have to pay attention here is that the sound is the same, the writing different. D. Dim. Dim. The house in Ukrainian Dim. Next letter. E. As in let. Derevo. E. Derevo. 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 Next letter. Ye. As in yes. Yet. And yes, it will be one of the words practically everybody in Ukraine will understand. Here is some words with ye in Ukrainian. Europa. Europe. Europa, 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 and Eva, Eve, Eva, Eva. Next letter, J, J, as in English, pleasure, vision, J. And here is an example for you, Jabanya, 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 J. Z, żabenia. Well, it can be a small frog, and also it can be a person who has very, very cold palms or feet. And uh, usually this person has cold palms or feet all the time, so this person might be called żabenia. But be careful, because it's a very, very informal way to refer to a person, and it's only good between friends or relatives or a family. Next, Z, as in Z, all the same, just we write it differently. As in English, Z, in Ukrainian, Zeleny, Zeleny, which is green. Zeleny. If you want to learn, by the way, more colors, you can check my video on colors on my channel. Zeleny. Zeleny. Next, we have this letter. It's in Ukrainian E. E. The closest way to, to pronounce the same in English language is E as in bit 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 and in ukrainian here is the example for you kniha kniha a book kniha and the letter 
е е книга книга you have to remember about this letter that it's a bit shorter in comparison to the next one because the next one is e e as in english beat 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 and here's an example for you kvitka 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 it can be any kind of flower you can refer kvitka and once again the letter e the next letter is y y y y what you have to remember about this letter that it's a bit longer than the next one because the sound will be very very similar and y as in english yeast yeast uh, what is important about this word that it sounds just as ukrainian verb to eat which is yeast yeast and here is an example for you yeasha yeasha which is food yeasha yeasha okay here is the next sound and it's y y it's short it's shorter than the previous one y as in english boy boy and in ukrainian yogurt 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 y y y y so you see they are very very similar with the previous one okay let's move to an easier letter which is k as in kin k k and ukrainian kluch kluch next l as in english leader as in lamp in ukrainian lampa lampa and the letter l l do you want to learn ukrainian faster we can have a private lesson together and i can help you with the questions you already have we can practice spoken ukrainian grammar business ukrainian we can do what you want to do to practice to learn and improve your ukrainian language for this use the link under this video and we are going to continue with the next letter which is m as in milk mother so it's perfect letter because we write and we pronounce it just the same as in english language example for you in ukrainian Moloko, Moloko, Moloko. Next letter N. In English language, it looks like H, but in Ukrainian language, it's N. As in English, nice, no. So remember, it's N, N. Example for you, Nebo. Nebo. N. Nebo. N. N. Nebo. Next letter, O. In Ukrainian language, when you see this letter, it's O all the time, not like in English language. As in, uh, we pronounce this letter as in English, document, lock, and example for you, O here O hirke. Do you like cucumbers? O. O hirke. If you do like them, you will find lots of cucumbers in the summer on Ukrainian markets and supermarkets as well. O hirke. O hirke. O. O. Next letter P in Ukrainian language. Well, it might be a bit tricky for you because it we write this letter like this in ukrainian language but in english language we write it differently 
So in English language, it's like please president, but in Ukrainian language, totally different. And it's very, very important to remember how we write P in Ukrainian language. President. Because the next letter is R. R in Ukrainian language. But in English language, of course, it's P. So what is P in, Ukra in English language is R in Ukrainian language. As in room. Room, red, any other word with R in English language, it's we do write English R like this, R, R, as in Riba, 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 R, R, Riba. Okay, the next letter is S, S, as in snow, S, and in Ukrainian language it's as in снег, снег, с, с, снег. Next letter T. In English language and in Ukrainian language T, as in team. And example for you, театр, театр, Т, Т, театр. Theater. Next letter is U, and we do pronounce this letter as in double O in full shoot. U, U. And here is an example for you: уважный, уважный, attentive. And one more example: будь уважным. Be attentive. Будь уважным.